In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this orc barricade terrain for D&D or other tabletop board games. This one made an appearance in my orc painting tutorial. To start out with, I took a scrap piece of foam board that was about 2 by 3 inches and used my hobby knife to create curved and irregular edges. The cool thing about these barricades is that they can be made any size you want. My first one had a 1 by 2 inch size. Next, I gathered some junk to hot glue together. This shield is a hot glue casting of a Megalox shield, and this is a hot glue casted ribcage. I also have aquarium rocks, a piece of popsicle stick, and a piece of plastic left over from my castle that I'll be gluing together. I first hot glued down the shield in approximately the center, then this chunk of popsicle stick which I cut a notch into using my plastic cutters. The plastic piece went on the opposite side to fit into that notch. After that was the toothpick piece and mini popsicle stick. The last thing to be glued down were the aquarium rocks and a random piece of foam board, and then I surrounded those with extra hot glue to look like piles of dirt. On the first barricade, the shield was a paint cap with a decorative gemstone on it, and a bamboo skewer was the spike. I could see a bottle cap also working instead of what I've used. I then painted the terrain piece black with acrylic paint. But I maybe should have put on the basic material first. While the paint was still wet, I sprinkled on this fine sand to correct that mistake. After drying, I painted the base and rocks with espresso brown. Next, I used a few different colors to quickly paint some of the details. Balthazar gold on the plastic thing, lead belcher on the toothpick, Carrick stone, dawnstone, and administratum grey for variation on the rocks, Doombull brown for the board, and hashuk copper and red on the shield. Then I dry brushed on this parchment color paint to reveal the texture of the sand. To finish off this terrain piece, I used a shade. This is really just black paint and water, and the ratio of water to paint determines how dark the end result will be. Mine turned out to be a little darker than I wanted, but it still looks really good. And here is the completed orc barricade. I did glue the ribcage on after the shade dried, just because it was already painted. These barricades are partial cover for the orcs, and they also work really well with other barricades. This means that you could make a set of these as part of an orc camp. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub because it really helps me out, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.